Today I want to show you the contents of my book, The Five Gods of the Bible, between God and the Father, between the Son of God and the Son of Man, between the Lord and God, God in His palace and the Lord in His temple, Zion and Jerusalem and so forth, so that you as the reader can see that there are differences between these five gods mentioned by the writers in their books in the Bible. So I'm about to show you uh, these contents. Open up the five gods of the Bible and you go to the contents of the book. There are 55 chapters. So the five gods in the Bible are first mentioned in the book of Exodus and then Jesus mentioned it also in the New Testament. And even in the book of Revelation, you will see them. And then the five gods are also mentioned in the book of Psalms, Daniel and Enoch, the three sons of the Most High and the Queen of Heaven, which totals five. And you go all the way down. People don't know that there are differences between the Son of God and the Son of Man. The two faces of the two gods are also mentioned in the Bible. The two gods at Sodom and Gomorrah the two bridegrooms is also very important. Then you go all the way down to two separate Passovers. Then if you look here, the two glories of the two gods. And then lift up your hands to God in heaven and bow down to the Lord. This one is an interesting chapter. God rides on a cherub, whereas the Yahweh rides on a cloud. The Lion God and the Lamb God, also very important. And then you go down, there are two kings, two thrones, the, uh, the king of Zion and the king of Jerusalem, which are also mentioned in the Bible. And then the throne of God and the throne of, uh, on the earth. And then uh, the palace of God and the temple of the Lord, also very important. And then you go all the way down, and... Uh, the God of the dead and the God of the living. Then the two gods which spoke to King David, Sarah, Ezekiel, Noah. Uh, God desires women, the Lord desires men. Also a very important chapter. And then the conversations between the gods of the Bible. Also a very interesting uh, chapter where I show you that there are more than one God mentioned in, uh, more, I think, more than 200 scriptures in the Bible. People read the Bible but aren't aware that the one Lord always mentions the other God.